Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rome 2, here playing as the Pergamon. Sounds like a Digimon, right? That's your command. Ah, here it is. Gravitas is the Shut up, we know. Alright, let's play. So, I think the next step is... Man, what is the next step? Oh, not what I wanted. Well, we are at war with somebody still, I believe. With Drangiana, Media, and Seleucid. <laughs> They're freaking forever away. Except for the Seleucid. They're nice and close. That's right, it's all coming back to me now. Commander. Commander. Levy pikemen, some hoplites look like looks like we're pretty good on hoplites. Could probably stand a couple more. Why not? I'm having such a hard time recording lately, with the Total War Attila update. As Hello. Gather, wise men look for friends to sell to them. In you, I believe we have such friends. Non-aggression pact with the Galatia. Sounds like a deal. In here, Fraps doesn't work anymore because of the most recent DirectX update or something or other. Fraps requires DirectX 9. And the recommended DirectX version for Attila is DirectX 11. And something in that update, along with some driver updates of mine, Direct, or not DirectX, um, Fraps, just kind of crapped out on me. It doesn't even open half the time, and when it does open, all it says is that I need to make sure that DirectX 9 is installed correctly. Slave problems. Well, that's no bueno. Lack of slaves? One of your magistrates is complaining about the lack of slaves in his province. He feels that more slaves would be would help to improve the productivity of his lands and boost the local economy. See, the local slave population is not troubled. The magistrate is troubled. I'm sure the slaves are... they could care less. A little investment. We've got a population surplus. Sweet. Let's do that. Let's go with the dry dock here and here. Let's see. Public order is nice to have. Sure, let's go with some public order. I could always use some public order. Quartermaster report, I got my ranged units for the throne of Mars. Let's see what we can't get here. Subject gains notoriety. Oh, that. Research is complete, organized supply, which explains this. Now let's go with... Nah. Minus 2% recruitment cost for all army units. Minus 3% upkeep cost. I'll take it. You've got a deal. Making about 2,000 a turn, which is not bad. Especially since we only have two cities.
Okay, the magistrate was pleased that you took the time to hear his request and was gracious enough to act upon it. Typo there, Creative Assembly. He put the slaves to good use and the province prospered. Number of slaves increasing in for four turns. Ain't that just dandy. Got a decent looking army here. Wouldn't mind some cavalry, some swordsmen. Neither of which are available. They are in the mercenaries, but I don't want to pay for mercenaries. We've got half decent guys right now. I really don't like taking armies out onto the ocean or the water, whatever you want to call it, with no backup. What can we do about getting ourselves a navy? Raise fleet. Some thorax swordsmen or archers. Well, I'd have to go with some swordsmen. Maybe not. Can we recruit an agent yet? A champion, heck yeah. They're all exactly the same. I guess you win. My sword is yours. Yes, it is. You expect me to do that? Yeah, totally. Ready for Let's get this army some men. Now we're out of money. Just in case, you never know. You want to be covered. We're paying for a general, we might as well give him an army, huh? Anyway, what I'm saying about the recording just a little bit ago before I started my turn. Hello. Have not Military alliance with Bithynia. Do not offend the gods, I beg you. Oh, why not? You're probably just going to drag me into some stupid war, but why not? Anywho, I'm using Open Broadcaster software now instead of Fraps, and it's the weirdest recording or streaming program I've ever used. I, I put in a new source for Total War Rome 2 and it doesn't see it. It only sees a black background with a mouse. I thought I had that fixed. Apparently not. So I'm just clicking around looking for this and that and I accidentally clicked on Total War Shogun 2 source and all of a sudden it comes on. So I'm recording this using Total War Shogun 2 as a source through OBS instead of Rome 2. Hardly interchangeable. Consecrated ground. Does that mean we finished something? Ah, yeah. Let's see here. Minus one food, minus one food, plus three food. Minus one, minus one, minus one. Okay, what is this? The Shrine of Poseidon, plus two public order. Hellenic culture influence, plus 5% wealth from maritime commerce. Level one ship holds plus 5% health upon recruitment, minus 5% ship building cost, that's pretty darn dandy, seeing as how we are coastal, that would be very handy. Shrine of Zeus, wealth from all sources, that's great, tax harvesting edict, Shrine of Ares, plus 3% wealth generated by slaves, Plus 5% unit morale on recruitment, on recruitment, upon recruitment, jeez. Shrine of Hephaestus, 60 wealth from entertainment, plus 5% wealth from industry, commercial stimulation edict, sacred grove, plus 5% wealth ag from agriculture, noble philanthropy edict, minus 10% building conversion cost, eh. It might be a good idea to get the Shrine of Poseidon. I wouldn't mind having a navy available. And shipbuilding costs will be very nice. Don't think I care about the Shrine of Athena. Plus it'll give us plus three food. It's like a win-win situation for us. Ah, oh, yes. 
wanted to give you some men. Well, I guess that'll do for now. You have trade agreement, finally. Many among us would enjoy. I tried to start a trade agreement with them a lot. And they were like, no, no, I don't think so. No, I even offered them money. Good things come to those who wait. Boy, I'm thirsty. Holy cow. Military settlement complete. Oh, no. Oh, hello, phone. Let's see, ill omens of the future are making the people of this province unruly. Minus four public order per turn. Well, that sucks. The more ambitious a character is, the more useful they are likely to be to your faction. However, it is a double-edged sword. High ambition can lead to a bid for power through civil war, so it is important to keep an eye on such characters. They are not necessarily to be trusted. I see. In order to pay for the upkeep of the temples, the High Priestess intends to introduce a temple tax. And that's a bad omen. Work together, let her do it. Well, if the people don't like it, we should probably stop her, huh? Stop that crazy person. Why don't we get some civil underway? Plus 1% wealth to agriculture, minus 2% agriculture building costs, and it's only two rounds. We're going to need some civil technology anyway. The Sons of Ares. I like that. That's Ares. So we're Greek. If that's so, then we're going to have to change this. Ares and Mars is the same person, but one is Greek mythology and one is Roman. Ares is Greek, Mars is Roman. Interesting. Rome, too. I guess we're still practicing Greek mythology here in Pergamon. That's fine. Throne of Ares. Eh. If we've already got, who are they? The Sons of Ares? How about the other Sons of Ares? <laughs> or the better Sons, there we go. The stronger Sons of Ares. Oh, it doesn't fit. Dang, that's a good one, the Sons of Ares, not bad. How about Zeus's lightning? Or wrath, there you go. No, Ares' wrath, there you go. Ares' wrath. Wonderful, that's a good one, I like that. You were destroyed by Ares' wrath. <laughs> we could totally take Rhodes. We're super friendly, though. They love the crap out of us. We have a trade agreement, or they're an ally. They love the crap out of us. No, better not. Well, let's get this show on the road. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Get the show on the road. Tell me about Seleucid. I need to know. We are not known as patient people. Oh, shut up. Therefore, welcome. Speak to the point. I need to know about their faction. What the heck? Factions. Oh, this is crap. 
you're seriously not going to let me take a look at what's going on with other factions, like how many provinces they own and stuff like that. You could do it in pretty much every other Total War title. Rome 2 comes out, has all these great things, but they won't let you know how many provinces your enemy has, or your allies. Dumb. Stats. Freaking not even we know. How many provinces do we have, my lord? Nobody knows. Okay. Ready for orders. I am the champion of the Military training. Get her done. We are a mighty people, well versed in the uses of wealth and power. Nice. And so we love gold. They want a non aggression pact and they want us to pay 100 for it. 100 is not that bad. That'll be fine. We like non aggressions. The High Priestess was right. The new temple tax was the will of the gods. After speaking with you, she returned to her temple to find that it had been struck by lightning, a sign of Zeus's displeasure, for she had failed. Every man must pay his dues, plus 10% tax rate. Sounds good to me. I mean, it's more money for me. Likes Easterners. Plus 2 Eastern cultural influence, plus 5% wealth from local commerce. Sounds like a good trait to be gained. Encouraged populace. The people of this province are content with current circumstances. Plus one growth and plus 2% tax rate. We just got a plus 12% tax rate boost. And for some reason our money went down. Sure makes a lot of sense, huh? Well, we can't build that. Our freaking food is at zero. Freaking hate that stat. Let's just head on over here. The worst that can happen is our entire army is destroyed. It's going to take forever to get over there anyway. One sacrifice Sparta, huh? on the altar of our goodwill. I speak of gold, of course. A non-aggression pact with Sparta. Might as well. We're we're moving east anyway. We, I, I wouldn't mind being buddy buddy with everybody to the west, immediately to me, anyway. Land reclamation, all right. Increase in rank. And foreign trader, plus 10% wealth from all sources. Sweet. I like everything you just said. Let's see, plus one zeal gives us plus 6% campaign map movement range. Excellent idea. Minus 10% cost of performing all actions, plus 5% chance of cri critical success in all actions. And I'll go for zeal. What is this? What do you want? A merchant from distant lands wishes to trade with our people. He has a regular supply of silk, that amazing, rare, and sought-after commodity. Monopolize. Heck yeah. Plus 10% wealth from all sources. I see. And give it to the gods. I think. Monopolize. Because it's freaking silk. That's why. It's only made in one freaking place on the planet at this point in time. 
It's a mystery. Nobody knows where it comes from, how it's made. All we know is it's freaking expensive. The following concerns, blah, blah, blah. Oh, technologies. Let's see. Sure. I wouldn't mind that. Boiling oil over the gates. Great idea. We'll end this turn and we'll put a pause in the video. I would really like to stick to about a 20 minute video limit. Mission failed. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, that they're freaking forever away. I don't feel too bad about that. The rich and powerful sent their agents to purchase bolt after bolt of silk as the only source of this luxury item. Your profits soared. Sweet. And it only went up by a hundred. Sparta and Knossos. Motivated populace. The people of this province are happy with the current circumstances again. Faction destroyed, Epirus. I don't think I know who you are. We could trade with you. The, these guys. A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Well, you're not like very nice at all. And have a point. Ha <laughs> ha. We're unfriendly. How about a non-aggression pact and a trade agreement? Okay, not a trade agreement. Well, a non-aggression pact or not. How about an aggression pact? How does everybody else feel about us? We're fairly well received. Sparta's kind of like, eh, we're doing all right. Okay, let's put a pause in the video here. Thank you everybody for spending time with me today. Leave any feedback in the comments section below. Without your feedback, I cannot improve. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with video uploads. See you guys next time.